how difficult the life of a comfort woman. 85-year-old Pilar Frias has been singing the same song for years, and she still feels no one is listening. The other women here share her ballad. They say they were all forced into sexual slavery by Japanese soldiers during World War II. I'm very, very ugly now because the Japanese soldier is the one who make this my ugliness. This was five years ago, but Pilar can recount the story just as clearly now. The scars remain, but there is no sign of the apology and the justice she's been fighting for. The worst thing for us, she says, is that it's not even recorded in their history books. They've not given us any justice from the aggression we suffered. Up to now, nothing was given that would make us feel better about our lives. There is no mention of comfort women in either Japanese or Philippine history books, but here in what's known as Grandmother's House, their stories have been compiled as a testament to the atrocities of war, and their memories have been preserved and open to be shared with the public in the hopes they will not be forgotten. Just north of Manila stands another house. This one is called the Red House. And five years ago, childhood friends Lita and Pilar spoke to Al Jazeera about the blackest night of their lives. In this room, we are five mm, younger women. They are Japanese soldiers. We raped here. They were 13 years old then. The Japanese brought 80 women from their village here to rape them in one night. The next day, they were released. Because they were released after just one day, they haven't received the same attention as the comfort women. Is there a difference, she asks. What happened to us was very painful. Even our parents, our families, our houses, the Japanese finished us all. What difference does one month or six months make? What difference does it make how long you were raped? But her own home boasts reminders of a friendlier Japan. Her husband and her son have earned a living there. It doesn't mean she is no longer angry. Lita says she is unable to forgive when forgiveness has not been asked for. Back at grandmother's house, the comfort women gather again. People have come from abroad to meet them. They may have exhausted all legal and political means to get justice, but for as long as they can, they will tell their stories. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Manila. <laughs>